What was your impressions after the scrimmage of how far the offense has yeah. been kind of assimilating with all new schemes? Yeah, you know, I, I, you see it formulating, right? Um, BA had a good day. You know, the first group went down and had two drives, and we were able to, you know, run the ball and uh, throw it with some accuracy. Uh, but we did hit a lull. So that's where we are right now as a, as a team, as an offense, right? Of learning how to finish, learning how to strain, how to finish through into the second half and the fourth quarter. Get off to a fast start is one thing, but we got to learn how to, how to finish, and that's what this camp's all about. I know there's a lot of challenges with the O-line not being yeah. able to have five consistent Correct. same guys. Yeah. What's the development of Ty Turner? She's been pretty yeah. consistent center. Ty, Ty has been doing a good job. You know, it's a great opportunity for anybody, right? Because like you said, it's been a revolving door rotation-wise with the O-line. Again, guys, come on. You got a great opportunity right here. Seize the moment, compete, get after it, and it'll jail. You know, hopefully we can get these other guys back here before we get ready to prepare for Richmond and get this group to start gelling. Because there's moments when they're out there together, it looks pretty good, and there's moments where it looks really, really bad. So. I know this coaching staff kind of challenged the receiving core. Yeah. Kind of step up. How have they kind of progressed to this point? In yeah, you know, um, there's always like a turning moment, right? And, you know, and Wicks has been a guy that's been, been trending. And last week, you know, I think uh, he really took a big step forward as a leader. Um, his work habits have been really good. You know, he's been challenged to be consistent every day. Um, Lavelle's been challenged to be consistent every day. He's shown some flashes, but it's not there yet. He needs to be more consistent. You know, uh, getting Billy back into the rotation a little bit here now. But again, he's got to be challenged. He missed spring ball, so he's got a lot of makeup to do, just conditionally and, uh, and mentally. So that group, the thumbs on them every day, right? Because that's our playmakers, right? Those guys, be, those guys got to be there every day doing the little things right, and then the big plays that happen. What was the, the extra running there? Oh, uh, we had a terrible day offensively. You know, too many turnovers, too many pre-stop penalties. You know, we had a pass period, you know, too many sacks, right? And, you know, we got to be balanced. We got to be able to run the ball physically, but we got to pass protect too. So it's all encompassing, you know, putting them in that situation. And we, we, didn't, meet, we didn't meet the challenge today. You know, we took a step back today, offensively. Whose decision is it that there's going to be extra? Is that you? Is that Coach Elliott? It's a combination. You know, whatever we see fit we, to challenge these guys mentally and physically. Yeah. yeah. Can, can an inexperienced offensive line be a good offensive line? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Can an inexperienced offensive line yeah. be a good offensive line? Have you had that in your career? Yeah, yeah, they can. You know, it's over time. Okay. You know, at some point it'll click. But again, it goes back that group. They got to work the same combinations with the same guy, right? If I'm the right tackle and I'm the right guard, and I'm working my combination on inside zone, and I'm working with that guy repeatedly over and over and over, right? Just muscle memory. But when, I, when it's changing from one guy to the next within a practice, not so much day to day, but within a practice, it just makes it hard to get in the rhythm. So we got to get a simulation of five, six, seven guys that we can consistently uh, work together so they can get those combinations. You know, in pass pro, we, we're passing off twists and they're working in unison together. So it takes a little time. You know, we're going to get it, though, but it takes a little time. Even though Billy Kemp is a little behind, what's yeah. impressed you about him? You know, he's a competitor. You know, uh, he's getting into shape, uh, football shape. You know, all the conditioning they've done this summer is one thing, but, like, when you get out here and get trying to get into football shape, it taxes you mentally, taxes you physically, and he's just got to get acclimated to it. And what you saw of him on film from yeah. last year, like about his game? I mean, he's dynamic, right? It's the guy to get the ball in his hands and can make some things in the open field, uh, just like a lot of those guys, right? And just, again, it goes back to being consistent and, and doing the little things correctly. Keaton's been all over the place throughout his career. Correct. Going back to Mississippi State. Yep. It really seems like this, this fall he's really focusing on yeah. his fundamentals. I see Coach Agan's pull to yep. work on blocking and yep. stuff. How has it kind of changed? Again, when you look at yourself, right, as a player, right, he's in his, what, fifth or sixth year now. If you're really, really trying to evaluate yourself, you look at yourself and say, okay, what can I do to be better, right? Yes, he's done a lot of things, right? So it makes him good at a lot of things, but not necessarily great at something. So we're trying to refine his skills as a receiver, right? So he can be elite and be different in that regard. He has natural ball skills. He has natural movement skills as a ball carrier, right? But let's be, become elite as a, as a uh, route runner. How do you name guys a lot? Keaton, yeah. Octavia. Yeah. Some of these other guys, Chandler. Yeah. yeah. Starling, yeah. how do they look in camp and yeah. is anybody kind of? Well, again, one th key thing in this program, right, is obviously mental and physical toughness, but consistency, right? And those guys have some talent. They're not consistent, right? They got to be more consistent for us so that 
they're in the conversation with the Ketons, the Wicks, the Lavelles. And there's still times where that group is not truly consistent. That's across the board on offense. That's what we had today, right, from one position group to another. We turn the ball over in the red zone, right? We give up a sack. We have a pre-snap penalty, right? Those things cost you games, right? So everybody uh, has to play more consistent. Can you still use Keton, though, like in those different ways while he's still trying to master him? Certainly. He's smart enough to do that. That's one thing I appreciate about, appreciate about him. He has a really good football IQ and understand how he can fit within a pass concept or in formations and different things to move around. Yes. Yeah, you told me when we had the media lunch yeah. that you thought a rotation of six receivers yep. was what you were going for. Yep. Where are you in identifying? I mean, I, I can probably yeah. tell you one through four, but yep. where are you kind of identifying those, those next few guys? Well, it's practice 10 of 25. We still got some work to do. We, we still do. The sixth guy could be a tight end. It could be a running back. Paris Jones is having a really good camp, and he can catch the football, right? So uh, the six pass catchers may not just come from the wide receiver room. You know, it's open competition, and we know we got to play with five offensive linemen and a quarterback, right? So that's six. The other five skill players, how does that make up the most five consistent guys day to day? With, with Paris, uh, where have you seen his game grow since, since the spring? Where has he elevated himself? Well, I, I think he, he has a better grasp of what we're doing. Um, he's, he's more physically fit, he's in better condition, and he's straining longer, right? He's straining longer, harder, playing, playing that four to six seconds that we ask for every play. Kind of follow hmm? uh, following up on that, yeah. how would you feel like a running back position looks yeah. you know, like a guy like Cody Brown coming in? Yeah, again, that's another position group that we're always looking at to see which guy is really trying to separate from himself. Or is it a group that's going to kind of men are in the, in the middle of the pack, right? Who's going to be the alpha dog, right, as they say? Who's going to separate them? You know, and you look at camp, like, Paris is a guy day to day. He's kind of been doing that, right? The other guys have had their flashes. Mike has had his day. Cody's had his day. You know, Ahmad has had his day. But, again, we need more consistency. And that's just a common theme throughout the offenses, right? To get, to get in sync, get in rhythm, we need all 11 guys playing consistent. You mentioned turnovers. Yes. Is that a today problem, or has that been an ongoing camp? It, it really reared his head today. Ugly head today, right? You know, when you're competing against each other, right? Those things tend to happen in practice. We're not naive to think that a ball might not be turned over. It's not acceptable, but when we have, you know, four interceptions, two fumbles a day, that's really, really unacceptable. So, Mike uh, Hollins was in the green. Is, is that just precautionary, or, or are you? Yeah, I don't know. Yes, yeah, I don't. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Do you want? Because those green jerseys mean different things, you know. So, right. like that, yeah. Do you want one lead back, or do you want? I think in the, since where we are right now, it's a committee group, all right? But within that committee, who's the first guy out depends on how they go about these next couple practices. Those turnovers, uh, how many of them were Brennan related and, and do you? Uh, you know what, I don't know for sure on that. It's a blur, truthfully, you know? I see it when we watch on the film. You know, he's done, he's done a decent job taking care of the ball. Um, but we're rotating a lot of guys, we're playing three, four groups, but again, it don't matter who's in there, whether it's Brennan or or Jared Raymond or Davis Lane or it could be Luke Wentz, right? Everybody's responsibility. When you have the ball, you're carrying the team. We got to do a better job of taking care of the football.